Hello everybody, my name is the TF Boy, and welcome back to a little tips and tricks thing with myself on, in this case, Meltdown. Now, Meltdown, of course, is a healer, so I tend to um, upgrade him very defensive. Um, I have him just 20 in repairing and the rest in resistance. Um, nothing more, nothing less. That's really how you should keep him. Um, unless you want to maybe distribute to spark and shield if that's your preference, but that just gives that just requires I don't know, I just prefer resistance overall. Um, but yes, um this is how I tune him. Very simple, very basic, but very effective. Um I, I definitely have a great repairing output, which applies for my rocket launcher as well as my um beam gun and its S tech. Or I know I should say my rocket launcher's S tech. Um, I do want to say though that this does not affect your repairing at all because this is a fixed amount so that's just something to keep in mind so that's that um pretty much how I use them is that I tend to pick off shots with the rocket launcher um, and then just continually heal my teammates and try to get a level 2 repairing field down if I can you know I want but most of the time, I generally just repair with the beam gun and then drop the field down, wait for the beam gun to recharge, uh, repair with the re beam gun, drop the field, uh, rinse and repeat, etc, etc. So that's that. Um, if my health starts to go down faster than my allies help, I will use this S tech, which I find pretty useful. Um, I can get back about 500 HP if I have it at level 2, sometimes more. But, yeah, Meltdown of War is very defensive, um, you generally want to focus on him healing, but yet at the same time, um, a lot of people compare, compare, say that he's underpowered to Conduit. I wouldn't say that, um, the only real underpowered part is that Conduit can offer continuous healing because he can switch between his uh, healing pistols. So can Meltdown, but you have to be stationary to do it. Um, and that's with this field, but being stationary near Meltdown isn't a bad thing, especially with the Repulsor drill, because at least that can keep melee guys away. And in this Moda style game, you know, you're not going to be sneaking around corners and taking pot shots at people. I hate people who do that. That There's no sense for that. It's not going to work, trust me. So, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I do actually like this, especially with a, uh, it's especially quite effective against a uh, frontline or a Diablo. Or flatline, I mean. You know what actually annoys me? I hate it when people put a flatline flat line with the um, stun consumable. I hate that. I don't even use that. I use the prosthetic patch for him. God, that annoys me. It annoys me so much because it allows you to chain. Basically, you stun them, You act, then you use your equipment 6 and 4. I, I generally just do not like that consumable in general. Like that. That just needs to be removed. Like the, that's the only thing I would say that to remove in the game. Like remove that stun consumable. That's very annoying. I would never use it. I. You can. Whoever uses it can go to hell. I. Minor rant. Um, power cores. Um, uh, consumable, as you can see, I have the prostate patch. Power cores. Critical hit repair repairs your warrior for up to 20% of the damage dealt, uh, which assists in this. Um, this is not effective repairing. Um, this one. Oh, wait, here we go. Taking damage fuels the S tech gauge, which I, again I find pretty useful because, you know, if I'm taking a lot of damage, I can save up for the rocket launcher S tech or the um, repairing field on the ground, depending on what I need at the time. And then this one. Um, Again, like Showdown, um, because he takes, he's generally going to take a lot of damage. If the enemy does more damage to me, they're going to get more damage back to them. So this definitely increases my survivability a bit. And hopefully, because I've had some times where I can reflect, I've reflected enough damage while enemies are focusing them to where the enemy has to run. Or either dies. I've actually um, killed an enemy because they've attacked me so much. I even once killed a derail with his mines because his shield was down, and he had very low spark. 
I had a... God, that was so funny. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. So yeah, we're going to deploy with them. And I guess for this, stay I... Stay with me if you want to live. That's right, because you want to stay next to Meltdown for your survivability. So for the most part, you generally want to focus on repairings with this guy. You don't want to use them offensively. So... This is basically how you should play him. Just... Just keep that continuous healing going. The only problem with... Oh god. I just realized, why is my frame rate so low? I'm only getting like uh, 15 frames per second. Oh wow, you guys get the idea. I hope. Yeah, I, I, I won't. I'm gonna head to. I'm trying to head to the objective marker. Oh yeah, a lot of people also seem to ignore uh, his uh, vehicle mode, which the next hit, especially against a powerful target like a tank in PvP or a Reckoner, or even a Gladiator here. Here we go. This is where. Oh God. Um. Yeah, you guys are fine. Okay. But yeah, for the most part, um, you generally want to just stick to repairing somebody, and then uh, dropping your beam down. <sighs> or. Not your beam, dropping your uh, healing AoE down. I don't like the look of this. I mean, he's not a bad guy to be up. Oh, jeez. I, I think I might have just froze my game. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah. But yeah, um, for the most part, um, I do prefer him over Tri-Age. Tri-Age isn't a bad medic, he's just diff more difficult to play, I feel. But that's just me. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, that's all I have to... That's all I really have to share about Meltdown, you know, he's not that difficult to figure out, you just... If you need to attack, um, use your rocket launchers and then your beam gun for their spark. Is what I find most effective. Um, use your use your equipment for as well. Um, a lot of people don't tend to use that, um, which can increase and decrease damage output for bots and cons. And then six, I find just very useful if I'm running, like. Equipment six, I would turn on whenever your whenever your shield is just run out. That way, you can maybe keep repairing your allies while you yourself tries to just tries to survive for as long as you can to either repair yourself or just deploy the field down to repair everyone else, including yourself. So yeah, um, that's how I play them. And that's all I have to really share about him. Show the vehicles that they're fighting for the wrong team. No thanks. Yeah. But that's all I really have to say on Meltdown, you know. Uh, nothing too, I guess, not special, but not. He's not too difficult to figure out. So anyways, that's all I have to, have to share for now. Um, thank you all so much for watching. And stream.